a new version of America the Beautiful is, first of all, there's so many great versions, so you want to come up with something that's pretty strong. And I was inspired by Jaco Pastorius' solo version, and I was playing that for Chris, and, and he said, you know what, we, we need to play that, and then as soon as you finish that, big orchestra comes in, and then you join, and we do this big, dynamic, epic version. And I just, I couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. Nathan is um, remarkably patriotic. He loves the fact that he is an American, that he was born in the United States. Um, his father was born in South Africa, came from poverty, became very educated. He absorbs everything on equal ground. Nathan doesn't see North and South or black and white. He looks to the good for the good of everything and everybody. The record reflects his spirit, his kindness, his soul. One of the great testaments about who Nathan is was setting up the experience of how to play on this particular track with a certain pulse and reverence to what it meant. And before we went to go track this particular session with him playing his solo, I took him to the largest private Confederate Civil War graveyard in the United States, right here in Franklin. The North and the South fought and killed each other for the belief that ultimately gave Nathan the ability to do what he does and speak the voice that he speaks and play this instrument. That's the framework I wanted him to walk from. From there, we went back to the studio and I said, on this ground that we stood on, 8,000 people lost their lives in an afternoon fighting for what their idea what freedom was. So you can tell your story. It was an amazing experience to be at um, Ocean Way Nashville and, and among these incredible string players here. That's been a dream of mine, to, to sit in the middle of an orchestra and play with it. Here we go. He wanted to do a song that you know, kind of reflected his love for this country. He embraces that life and that greatness. So we looked for a song that would kind of reflect that, but we kept coming back to the fact that he wanted to do this song. And in a way, he wanted to represent Jocko without being compared. So the two had to marry kind of together, and then it had to reflect, this is Nathan in its soul entirety. So the song starts off very similar but then it becomes cinematically complex, and all of these textures are added in. As a musician that travels all around the world, and I've been to most corners of the planet, every time I come home, I get off the plane and I realize that there is no country like America. I could not be more proud than to be from here and, and happy to return to here. Nathan is an exceptional ambassador, not only to Yamaha, but to music and to humans. In the time that we live in, there's just so much bashing going on. And I just thought it was time to, you know, come out with, with something that's right and reiterate the fact that, you know, we live in an amazing country and it is beautiful and, and champion and, and celebrate that. So,